Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, and I'm shooting this video direct to YouTube from my cell phone as to minimize the amount of time it takes to get this video to you because this is a critically important message that needs to reach as many people as humanly possible. If you happen to have an iOS device, it doesn't matter if it's an iPhone, doesn't matter if it's an iPad, if it's running iOS 12, even with the latest update, there is a critical bug that has just been leaked to the internet that everybody is aware of now, however you may not be, and that's why I'm making this video, and there is a bug in FaceTime that allows me to basically call any other iOS device using FaceTime, simply add myself to the conversation while it's still ringing to the other party. And as soon as I do that, it activates their camera and their microphone without notifying them. And on their screen, it will still say, do you want to accept a call from so-and-so? And it'll even stop it from ringing as soon as you make the connection. So if somebody had their phone setting down, you could call with FaceTime, add yourself to the conversation. It's only going to ring once or twice on their side. Then it's going to go silent. The screen is going to say that you still have a call incoming. Do you want to accept or not accept it? And the person on the other side is going to be able to see video and hear audio, which means if this is the biggest privacy violation bug I think I've ever reported on in my entire YouTube career. And I tried it myself, so I know that it absolutely works. Now, Apple claimed that they shut down the FaceTime conferencing servers, but I just verified that it actually still works just moments ago, even after they claimed they did that. So the only way to protect yourself right now until they can release a hot patch for this is to go into your settings on your iOS devices and make sure you do it on every single one of them. If you miss a single device like your iPad and it's sitting in your nook, well, if somebody calls that and adds themselves to the conversation, they can now monitor the audio on it and hear just about everything that's going on. So this is a very, very critical step that you need to take. Go into your settings on every iOS device you own. Go down to FaceTime and under FaceTime, disable FaceTime. Literally just take the little green slider, move it over to gray to shut it off and then wait for Apple to release a fix for this, hopefully later this week. I'm actually shocked that, that Apple hasn't already released a fix for this. I'm shocked that Apple hasn't found a way to remotely disable this, but they haven't. Like I said, I've tried it between multiple devices. I tried it between this phone, uh, my wife's phone and my phone. I've tried it between the iPad and the phone, and I even tried calling my friend's phone. And I don't worry, I let him know that I was gonna spy on him first because that would have been a dick move. And I called him and sure enough, he said he had no indicator. It just said on the screen, do you wanna accept or deny the call? The other thing is it allows bi-directional communication. If you're really quiet, the other person doesn't know you're there, but if you're talking, they can still hear you through the speaker on FaceTime. So you can technically force a two-way conversation. So guys, please get this out to as many people as humanly possible. Please make your own videos if you have an audience, but make sure that everybody you know on planet Earth that has an iOS device disables FaceTime. Because again, this doesn't require anything on the part of the user to exploit this bug. You can literally just have your phone setting on a desk and I could technically call if I have your phone number or email address. And even if you don't call it, even if you don't pick it up, even if your phone is locked and sitting on a table in do not disturb mode, I can still hear everything that's going on and I can see video. And when the call breaks, I can just keep doing it again and again and again and again. So this is properly scary shit. Like this, I don't even have to like boost this up and go, oh my God, be afraid. No, this is, this is some properly scary shit, guys. Um, the only reason I'm kind of smiling and laughing is I've, I can't say that I've ever seen a worse bug on a mobile device short of the Note 7 exploding and like catching people on fire. <laughs> That's the only thing worse than this. Um, being able to spy on somebody without their consent and being able to make an instantaneous audio and video connection to somebody without them being aware of it is literally like the holy grail of scary things. So guys, please let your friends and family know immediately. And please don't be the asshole that watches this video and goes, oh my God, I'm gonna try FaceTime and all my friends and catch them in the bathtub or on the toilet. Because if you do that, you're just a fucking perverted dickhead. And I know that there's some of you guys out there and there's no way to stop you. And this is already public information. So it's less damaging to tell you guys about the bug because hopefully more people will be able to react to it and disable it, whereas all the pervs know this shit already. So you might as well know it too. I've already dis disabled FaceTime because I really don't want you guys looking at me taking a shit on the toilet um, or or when I'm having private time with the missus, okay? Because we have our phones in the room when we do shit and, and, and like, this is just scary. This is just scary. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there isn't already videos on the internet of, of me from, because I always have do not disturb on my phone and so anybody that knew about this bug and knew my phone number could have been exploiting it for however long this bug has existed which i'm guessing is a very long time even though it's just become public in the last couple of hours uh anyways i'm gonna stop rambling guys i don't want this to be a long video i just want to let you know that it is critically important that you disable facetime on all your ios devices 
if they're running iOS 12, it has to be disabled and then wait until a patch comes out, hopefully later this week. Apple, I'm sure, is already at full, full trot code red alert. Um, they haven't said anything publicly yet because I don't think they want to cause mass hysteria. Uh, but they are going to have to fix this quicker. I mean, this is this is the worst possible scenario bug that you can have short of the phone just not working at all. So they will have a fix for this soon. You do need to disable FaceTime, though, because as long as FaceTime is enabled, it doesn't matter if your phone's locked. It doesn't matter if it's on the charger. It doesn't matter if it's like sitting in the center of your console of the car. Literally anybody who FaceTimes you that knows to add themselves to the conversation to do this exploit, which shouldn't even be able to happen. You shouldn't be able to add yourself to the conversation because you're already in the conversation, will activate the audio and video on the remote device. All right, guys, I love each and every one of your faces. I'm still working on some stuff to make my official comeback uh, to the YouTubes with the technology. I have a whole huge array of technology reviews coming at you guys and a lot of other stuff that I'm teeing up. Uh, I just finished like cleaning up the nerd cave and getting a lot of stuff organized here. I know I've been absent on this platform for a while because I've been streaming over on Twitch and doing some other things, but YouTube is my passion. I love you guys. You're amazing. And I'm sorry that like one of my first videos back has to be me telling you about like this crazy, scary shit. But so many people use Apple devices that, that it's critically important that we get this out to as many people as humanly possible. And, and Android guys, here you go. You can finally go and gloat. You can finally go on every single forum everywhere and go, oh my God, if you had an Android device, this wouldn't have happened. But uh, let us not forget that Android's had some pretty bad fuck ups too. Okay. But uh, but I'm not letting Apple, I'm not letting Apple off the hook on this one. I think it's absolutely scary and egregious that you can actually have a bug so terrible that you can remotely activate the audio and video. Because the way I see it is, as a software developer myself, for security purposes, until you physically interact and say I accept that call, it should not be able to execute the code stack that enables the microphone or the camera. The fact that that's something that can actually be remotely activated is fucking scary as hell. That means if this bug allows for that to be remotely activated, what do you think that means for Apple? That means Apple at any time could remotely activate the camera and the audio on any of these devices because this bug clearly shows that there is a way to do that and that the stack does not uh, does not prevent you from locking down your, your or, or, or it doesn't allow you to lock down your camera and lock down your audio like you thought it did. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Love you all. More information down in the video description as it comes. Also, I'm going to be live tweeting about this as more information comes about on Twitter at Barnacles. Just come on, give me a follow there or come over to Discord, GG forward slash Barnacles. I'm going to be on there too. And then, of course, we're going to be talking about this on Morning Coffee with Barnacles tomorrow on Twitch TV forward slash Barnacles. So, uh, so just check all those places for updates and I'll make sure I leave updates in the comments on this video and in the video description as they become available, including the steps that you need directly to disable FaceTime, just in case it wasn't completely obvious from the video. I, I'm, I'm so glad that I was able to confirm that this actually worked though, because I almost saw it and was like, oh, pff, there's no way. There's no way, this has gotta be just iOS 1 and the latest version doesn't have this, but no, like I said, I confirmed on 12.3, which is the latest version of iOS at the time that I've shot this video, right here and now, does not have a fix for this bug, which means every single iOS device on the planet is currently vulnerable. This is uh this is some scary shit, man. All right guys, I'll talk to you later.